Hi everyone, in this video we are going to think about the effect of differentiation on the parity of a function, in other words, whether it's even or odd. So we're going to start with an even function, f e of x, which has the property um, up here, which is that if you flip the sign of its argument, the function remains unchanged, and an odd function, f o of x, where if you flip the sign of the argument, the sign of the function also flips. So we're going to start with those definitions and consider um, what symmetry properties, if any, um, the derivative of the even function and the derivative of the odd function actually have. Now, aside from just being sort of an interesting fact, um, knowing the properties that we're going to derive can be helpful on occasion when you are changing variables um, in an integral. I'm going to put a link in the description to a video I did recently um, of an integral where knowing these properties was crucial to being able to actually do the integral. Now, one way to approach this question is actually to start from the limit definition of the derivative. The properties will follow from that. But in this video, I'm going to use a method that I think is a little bit easier, a little bit simpler, which is to use the chain rule. So let's just label our equations 1 and 2 for ease of reference. And we are basically going to start by taking equation 1 and just differentiating both sides. So in other words, applying the operator d by dx to equation 1. So that'll just give uh, d f e of minus x by dx. And the left-hand side is just equal to d f e of x by dx. Now, the right-hand side, straightforwardly, is just the derivative of the even function f e, right? d f e of x by dx is the derivative. The left-hand side, however, is not the derivative because you're not differentiating the function with respect to its argument. So if we want to turn the left-hand side into a, uh, an actual derivative of the function f e, we need to be differentiating with respect to uh, the argument of the function itself, which here is minus x. So if we want to be differentiating with respect to minus x, we've got to use the chain rule. And so I'm going to write the left-hand side as d f e of minus x by d minus x. Okay, then from the chain rule, you have to multiply it by d minus x by dx. And the right-hand side of this from our previous step is just, I'm going to write it as f e dash um, of x. But then if you differentiate minus x with respect to x, you just get minus 1. And so that d minus x by dx bit is just minus 1. What about the derivative at the start of the left-hand side? Well, that is just f e dash evaluated at minus x, because the argument of the function and the thing that we're differentiating with respect to now match up. And so we can write the left-hand side of our equation as minus f e dash of minus x. The right-hand side is still just the derivative f e dash of x. Now, this is the defining property of an odd function, right? So that means um, f e dash is an odd function. So you differentiate an even function and you end up with an odd function. Now you can possibly already see where this is going, but let's work through the whole thing just for completeness. So we differentiate equation 2 this time with respect to x. Then you get d f o of minus x by dx is just minus um, d f o of x by dx, right? Only difference is we've got this minus sign from the definition of the odd function. Then we apply the chain rule again because we want to be differentiating the left-hand side with respect to minus x. So you get d f o of minus x by d minus x. Again, you have to times by this d minus x by dx term, which we know from what we said before is just minus 1. So let's just write it as minus 1. The right-hand side um, of our equation is minus f o dash of x. And then the minus signs on both sides basically cancel out because you've got a minus sign there and a minus sign there. And so you end up with f o dash of minus x is equal to f o dash of just x. And so switching the sign of x doesn't affect the value of f o dash, which means the derivative of this odd function is actually an even function, it satisfies the defining property of an even function. So there you have it, we've proved that differentiation flips the parity of a function from even to odd or from odd to even.